necessarily active experimental programs at laboratories interact with other people and experiment to determine to become electronic. That wasn't the beginning. I started the, my first experiment was done in January 1956. We had stuff that we taught. And at, at the elementary level, it was primarily about market pricing and supply and demand and how resources get allocated. But in the process of teaching, I realized that there's something I didn't know anything about. And that's the connection between these graphs that we drew on the board and what people do out there on the ground. And this bothered me because I had difficulty answering the questions of students from their perspective. Well, I knew, I, I had an idea how to create demand and create supply. I read about what was called the continuous two-sided auction. It became known as a double auction. But it's just buyers announce bids, sellers announce ask. And it's a quarterly way buyers tend to start out and, and bid low because they're trying to price buy it low and sellers tend to ask high and then the new new ask had to be lower and the new bid had to be higher so it was a two-sided auction very much like a country auction except that the, you, except there's multiple sellers and multiple buyers so that's the way i started and now what did i expect to happen well what we taught was the supply and demand theory was a very abstract idea and unless people had complete information in a market, new supply and demand, and the price that would clear the market, it was unlikely to actually be achieved. Here's a way in which people actually trade. Let's do it, or at least I know what the supply and demand is, but no one in the market knows. So I thought, this will, this will show that markets will move more first because then they don't have complete information. The first experiment I did, we, 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 we started out, people did ask, and they did trade, and we got a fixed time, I did, and then we started new, so we repeated. So it's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, market. Well, it converts to the equilibrium. And about you know three or four iterations, it's really slow. So I kept doing it. They all converged. The buyers got paid the difference between their value and the price at which they bought. So if your value is six and you buy for two, you just made four dollars. That, that was my the idea of the first experiment. And to me, it was just a way of answering questions that I had. And I went on and found this must be a law of nature. As I've learned much, much later in reading Adam Smith's theory of moral sentiments, it's just an aspect of our sociability.